can't believe how much gold I'm finding. <laughs> That's the biggest nugget of the day so far. Good morning or good afternoon, everyone. Welcome if you're new here. My name is Polly. Today, we'll be looking for gold underwater, also known as gold sniping. Now, I found a ton of gold on this river, especially upstream, so that's where we're gonna go. What a beautiful day to find some yellow candy. I decided to start looking in the shallow water first, but that's also where it's the hardest to hold the camera due to the current. But we did find our first little piece of gold that I think I lost. Go. I typically find the best gold in crevices that are packed with gravel, kind of like this. The more packed the crevice, the better, as it shows it's been here for a long time, which could also mean more time for gold to get trapped. I gotta put the camera down to pick this one up. Yay! Maybe a point three, point four of a gram. Ooh, I just saw a fly. After digging through all this annoying gravel, I found the next nice piece of candy. Just found another nugget. So there's a crevice that runs through here. What I'm doing is removing all these big rocks out of the way and then fanning the gravels down and looking at the bedrock. That's typically how I find good nuggets in this area. Sometimes you'll fan for hours before finding anything, but sometimes not. <laughs> I've been getting a lot of requests that I make more underwater gold videos. If you would like to see more of these videos, please hit that like button and tell that subscribe button who is boss so you don't miss another upload. <laughs> I know it's kind of hard to tell on camera, but no matter the size, gold is super easy to see underwater, especially if the water is clear. Here's an example. Just beautiful. I am a mermaid. Once I had my little break, I was back on the gold. There's always a ton of places to work, especially when the bedrock is so fractured. Me having ADHD, I tend to miss a lot of these spots, but I suppose I always have more to come back to. And sometimes you find bigger nuggets in these spots. <laughs> Sweet! Probably about a gram. That's the biggest nugget of the day so far. Sometimes it's hard to do this by yourself. <laughs> I can't believe how much gold I'm finding! I can't get over how much fun this is. It's definitely my favorite thing to do, and you never know what you're gonna find. If you know what this could be, let me know in the comments. Hmm. <laughs> 
This second piece, I needed three of my hands, so I had to turn the camera off. This is what I call foot fanning, and it's a great way to use your leg hands in those hard to reach places. I had to get my spare scratcher tool because I somehow buried my last one. It's very easy to lose your tools when sniping. I've probably found just as much as I've lost. Now, before I lose anything else, I think I'm gonna get out. Da, 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 uh, medic! <laughs> so I'm calling it a day. I'm exhausted. I don't know why. So before I show you guys the gold, I just gotta say that the gold that I found and the gold that the claim owner found, we're gonna split all the gold in half so we each get 50-50. So I will not be able to go home and weigh all the gold like I normally do. I'll just have to weigh my portion. Yeah, let's go have a look at the gold back oh. Here is the gold. Look at all that shiny candy. Nice little pile there. I like this guy. This is our biggest nugget of the day. I'm probably gonna guess maybe one and a half to two grams. I thought maybe that would be 45 ounces, but um. All right, this is our 50-50 split. I'm left with a little nugget, so I'm happy with that. Cool. Okay, I'll see you back at the house. Back in the blue room, and yes, I have a dredge. And no, I haven't used it. Blah, 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 blah. So before we weigh the gold, I just want to point something out. Some of you who've been following me for a long time have probably noticed that I'm filming with a cell phone rather than a camera and a camera crew. That is because my camera broke, and I've noticed that I've set high expectations for myself, and when I don't meet those expectations, I don't shoot a video. For example, if I don't have the perfect drone shot or the epic intro or something like that, then I just don't think it's worthy, and then I don't post it. What I've recently been realizing is that if I lower those expectations and just stick with the cell phone for now I can shoot more videos and I have more fun doing it so here she bees my portion of the candy anytime I can come home with any candy I am happy I'm especially happy that I got to take home this nugget now I want to know how much it weighs so our beautiful gold nugget weighs nine ounces obviously one gram really that's it I thought it'd be a bit more night let's try that again one gram. Eh, ah, not bad. This peanut. Wow, 1.46 grams. And now the little bits. 1.10 grams, so that should be 2.10. A mysterious point one has showed up. Never mind. So two grams of gold isn't bad. That means we probably found around four or five grams of gold for the day. Not bad considering it wasn't a very long day. Now I'm not very good at mentioning this on video, but I have restocked on all my merchandise. So if you guys are interested to get a hoodie, a t-shirt, or maybe something for a gift, you can now do so again at pioneerpoly.com. That is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, chances are you're going to enjoy what I've previously posted and what's coming in the future. So please don't hesitate to hit that like button or subscribe to this channel so you don't miss another video. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much for your support. Until until the next one, a cute puppy.